WFFT. This is your local sports. Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. Christina joining us in the studio now. And so, Christina, what's going on in the world of sports today? Well, NBA. You know, I know the regular season is over, but we just had the draft, which was super exciting. And now we have summer league competition starting up, the camps leading up to it. And, of course, free agency, which is set to start on Wednesday. So the NBA is still very busy right now. All right. With the draft behind us, it's time to start looking ahead to free agency and, of course, all the NBA camps that are set to kick off this week leading up to summer league competition. And that's exactly where we'll start. The Pacers free agent rookie camp roster is highlighted by Solomon Hill and Shane Whittington. Both players spent time right here in the Summit City this past season taking the court and competing with the Mad Ants. Along with the pair of veterans, the team's two draft picks, Joe Young and Miles Turner, will be practicing on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday as well. The guys will have two practices each day, except for Friday, which will showcase just one session. The Pacers have 14 players on the roster and are set to compete in five games over the next week down in Orlando for the Pro Summer League. Joining Hill, Whittington, Young, and Turner will be a couple of familiar names. John Octius out of Purdue and former IU standout Christian Watford will also be taking the court for the Pacers' Summer League down south. First contest is Saturday morning, 9 a.m., when the Blue and Gold take on Miami. Meanwhile, the Pacers have some work to do when it comes to solidifying next year's roster. After four straight postseason runs and back-to-back -back Eastern Conference Finals appearances, the team found found themselves knocked out of the playoffs before they even began this last season. So expect them to be making some major changes. The organization has almost 17 million bucks of cap space, so they have room to work with. Be on the lookout for what will happen with these guys. Rodney Stuckey, Lavoy Allen, Louis Scola, C.J. Watson, and Donald Sloan, who are all unrestricted free agents. As for David West, well, he's already said he's not coming back. Free agency starts on Wednesday. Surprising news coming in today as one of the best coaches in the Big Ten, and the nation for that matter, is calling it quits. Bo Ryan, the head honcho in Badgers country, has announced that he will retire after next season. The 67-year-old has coached at Wisconsin for the last 14 years and has racked up 357 wins to only 125 losses. He's led the program to the NCAA tourney every single year, made it to two Final Fours, won three Big Ten tournament championships, and earned Big Ten Coach of the Year honors, not to mention last year's national championship runner-up title. He hopes longtime assistant Greg Gard will take his place. The NFL announced earlier today that they've teamed up with Hyundai for the next four years. The South Korean automaker will now be the official sponsor of the NFL, replacing General Motors, who held that position since 2001. Hyundai will now be able to use NFL trademarks in commercials and marketing. The car company is no doubt excited to start showing the league's two million fans their product. Nothing yet released on how much the league is making on the deal. Here's something pretty cool that one of the Indianapolis Colts players did in his off time from football. He got married. Quarterback Vontae Davis flew to Puerto Rico and said I do to his longtime girlfriend, Megan Harp. The pair were married on Saturday on the St. Regis.